Hello my babies, welcome to this video. This is a message about food and more specifically genetically modified food. You definitely already know this. There's a lot of genetically modified food. There is something I would advise you to keep an eye, an open eye for. If you plant if you're into planting, if you decided to go on the path of being more, you know, self-sustaining and you buy seeds be very careful what kind of seeds you buy the genetically modified ones have it written on the, the, the packaging hybrid of new generation it will not state that it is genetically modified it will say that it is a hybrid of a new generation and the seeds I saw this like the, the for what I saw what I saw this for ah grandma <laughs> were peppers and corn, the ones that I looked at, but there may be more, and you know what, there are more genetically modified foods. Some of the most, of the most modified ones are, as I said, corn, Ooh, the thing that bread is made of, you know, the whole gluten stuff. I forgot its name. You know it. Um, a lot of cereals. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot their names right now. It's wheat. It's oats. And soy. Yes, those of you who are vegan. I'm sorry, my friends. But soy is highly modified, so it's not that much of an alternative anymore. So we've got these four cereals, corn, soy, wheat, and oats. Soy may not be that much of a cereal, but mm, it's... And other than this, apples are very modified as well, and peppers and especially red peppers you know those bell red peppers no not anymore and for peppers and corn I did not see the option for an unmodified seed it's gotten there at least to where I live there's no more the option of a healthy seed if you buy from, you know, if you buy it. If you go to the countryside, maybe you have the luck to know some people there who have seeds from generations ago. Yeah, that's kind of luck at this point. Not kind of, that is luck at this point. But if you don't have anyone to have seeds from some time ago, nowadays, the only seeds left are genetically modified. We've gotten there, you know, those things, those scenarios portrayed in apocalyptic movies or videos or just anything apocalyptic where there wouldn't be a healthy option for certain foods. Yes, we've gotten there. Now, <laughs> the more awake people there are, the more people know about this, the more we can prevent this to happen to other fruits, vegetables, plants, anything. It's, it's up to us. So save the healthy seeds. It's like really save the healthy seeds. It's only a matter of time, like, if we let the situation go on like that, 
It's only a matter of time until we get to a point where everything we buy is genetically modified. And I will repeat this. If we let the situation go on, it's only a matter of time until we get to the point when all food is genetically modified. And for sure, no one wants to live in such a world, not even the ones who are not awake. So, it's up to us. Even if you don't plant now, as of now, maybe at some point in the future you will, or maybe at some point in the future you will have a friend who will plant and you can buy fruits, vegetables, plants from them after they plant them. Anything, anything you eat now, if you have the time to save those seeds of the healthy foods, that'd be great. <laughs> I love you so much.